Although President Emerson Nangagwa seems to have contained his ambitious deputy Constantino Chuenka, there is growing concern in ZANU-PF that the former military general may challenge for the party leadership at a Congress scheduled for December amid escalating tension in the provinces. Party insiders say Chuenga will challenge Nangagwa, but Chuenga has consistently watered down the prospect. In December last year, Chuenga likened Nangagwa to Manumyatapa after a Mizbingo traditional leader, Chief Nurani, said the president would lose elections because of his failure to deal with corruption, including by his own children. Events on the ground, as shown by turf wars in the provinces between Nangagwa and Juwenga's allies, point to raging factional fight. This is despite Juwenga having suffered a series of setbacks, including the death of allies, purging of his camp from party and military, resulting in his power base being shaken. Last week, Nangagwa's top ally in Harare, Provincial Affairs Minister Oliver Chitao gave the clearest indication of a plot insiders said was targeting Chuenga's allies, saying heads will soon roll. The party is also fretting over a potential Bora Musango in the 2023 elections, should Nangagwa run for the presidency, as infighting continues in the party between the rival factions. No one should go for Bora Musango. We want discipline in the party, and we can't have those who think, if they are not voted, will do what they want. President Nangagwa is different from others in the past. He will give you a long rope, but will suddenly clip your wings. Just wait and see where we are headed Chitao said in his recent address of party supporters in Epworth. There are growing concerns over whether a subdued Chuenga will mount a serious challenge, with insiders warning that the fights may get worse as the party gears for the elective Congress slated for December, where the Chuenga camp is determined to challenge Nangagwa. The Newshawks was told this week that the faction aligned to the ZANU-PF deputy is intact and on the ground to gain control of districts and provincial structures, although at the top it appeared Nangagwa was in total control. The faction's strong showing in internal elections shows that Nangagwa does not control the party at grassroots level, observers say. It is game on, an insider said yesterday that the real fight is on the ground, and though the president and the VP appear well together, there is a lot of tension on the ground, and it will worsen as we go towards the Congress. Dot the insider said there were recent maneuvers by both camps to field candidates in the 26 March by-elections, with the Chuenga faction also forwarding its people in the process. Chuenga's faction is trying to regain control of Manicaland province, that was won under controversial circumstances, with Nangagwa being accused of using his Politburo to endorse rigged elections, where his ally Mike Madero was facing defeat by Albert Nyakuedzwa, a perceived Chuenga ally. Madero wrote to the National Political Commissar Mike Bimha accusing the ZANU-PF Politburo member and former army boss Engelbert Trujic, a known Chuenga ally, of presiding over biased polls as he sought to manipulate the results in favor of Nyakuedzwa. He alleged that Trujic, in the discharge of his duties, exhibited unrestrained personal and political bias against my candidature, while showing unbridled preference for the other contestants. Dot Madero, who was later endorsed as the winner at the instigation of Nangagwa, has been on a campaign to deal with the Nyakuedzwa camp's insiders. In Mashonland Central Province, divisions have also rocked the party, with Home Affairs Minister Kazim Kazim's camp still in combative mood against Mazo District Coordinating Committee Chairperson Tafadzwa Musarara's camp amid accusations and counter-accusations of belonging to rival camps. Fights are also continuing in Matabeland North Province, where Believe Gaul is challenging Richard Ndlovu's victory, Mashonaland West Province where one camp is pushing for the ouster of Mary Mliswa, who is the party provincial boss. Nangagwa's man, Ezra Chad Zamira, fell in Misbingo during the provincial elections, 
with Chiwenga's ally Robison Mavinyengwa taking the chairmanship instead. Rujaj unwittingly revealed last week his intention to, at some point, V for the provincial chairmanship. He sent a congratulatory message to the new provincial chairperson, a move that insiders said was confirmation of the former military officer's intention to take charge of the party structures going forward. Former Army generals, among the MEX Presidential Guard commander who is now Zimbabwe's ambassador to Tanzania Anselm Sanyu, have also been flying back into the country and pushing for their preferred candidates in the provincial structures. Sanyuku was pushing his wife, Cheeto, who is also Nyanga North Member of Parliament, in the provincial structures as chairperson of the Women's League together with many of Juwenga's allies. In Nangagwa's own backyard, the Midlands province, the party is also divided on factional grounds that has seen him turning the knives against his loyalist Owen Mudhang Cube, who was last month fired as state security minister. Nkube, a longtime ally of the ZANU PF leader, was fired under controversial circumstances, with insiders saying he could have been kicked out for his support for the Chiwenga faction and disregarding Nangagwa's advice not to stand in the provincial elections that had become volatile. The former state security minister was set to challenge then provincial chairperson Daniel Mackenzie Nkube before they were both asked by Nangagwa to pull out of the race with Larry Mavima being chosen as a compromise candidate. Nangagwa and Chiwenga were inseparable allies who conspired to topple the late former President Robert Mugabe via a military coup in November 2017, but the two are no longer in good books because the Nangagwa camp failed to stick to the coup plan, causing divisions. The initial arrangement, insiders said, was to have Nangagwa at the helm until 2023, after which he would hand over to Chiwenga. But after a few months in office, Nangagwa, through his allies, began campaigning for the ZANU PF candidacy in 2023. Tension and mistrust between Nangagwa and Juwenga have been building up since the coup days as the two disagreed on several issues that include cabinet and ZANU PF appointments. Nangagwa reportedly wanted the party and ultimately the country's vice president's post to be given to Appa Muchinguri before Chiwenga rested the post. In ZANU PF, Nangagwa and Chiwenga clashed over the appointment of a political commissar, with the ZANU PF leader initially choosing war veteran Victor Matemadanda over Lieutenant General Engelbert Rujaj before the decision was overturned by the former military bigman. Rujaj was later removed from the post, and in came Matemadanda who was later posted to Mozambique as ambassador. Tensions were escalated by the White City Stadium grenade blast in June 2018, with the Nangagwa camp alleging it was a plot by the rival camp to assassinate the president. Nangagwa also took advantage of Juwenga's health woes that saw him spend a long time in South African, Indian, and Chinese hospitals to purge the former military general's loyalists in government, ZANU-PF and the armed forces, severely weakening him in the process. Health issues also dealt Chiwenga a heavy blow as COVID-19 took the lives of Foreign Affairs Minister Sibusiso Busi Moyo, Agriculture Minister Perins Shiri and former prison's boss Paradzai Zamhandi, who all were key allies of Chiwenga. Nangagwa took advantage of the gaps to appoint his own loyalists with Frederick Shava taking over as Foreign Affairs Minister while his other ally Anxious Masuka took over the agriculture post to replace Shiri despite calls by Chiwenga to have a person with a military background taking over. After the coup, Nangagwa unleashed a wave of purges in the military, police and central intelligence organization targeting Mugabe and former First Lady Grace Mugabe's allies before going for Chiwenga's loyalists, including Sanyutu, former Zimbabwe National Army Chief of Staff retired Lieutenant General Douglas Nkayarampa, who was Chief of Staff responsible for service personnel and logistics, Nkayarampa also succumbed to COVID-19. 
among Mangagwa's strategies was to appoint mainly his ethnic Karanga homeboys, mostly from the Midlands and Masbingo provinces, into key positions in the security sector as part of a power consolidation strategy.